Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you live today from the the floor here uh, inside in the floor of PTC 23 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And joining me is Niraj Shah, Director of Business Development and Sales at IX Africa. Good yeah, so great to have you. I know you made the long journey over. I think this is the your inaugural experience of PTC. What are your impressions so far? Yeah, my first trip down. It's actually quite cool. I, I like it. Yeah. I was a bit hesitant to come down because it's a long flight, but you yeah. know, it was just uh, thirty hours. I think you said. Yes. Yeah. Where? Yeah, tell yeah. everyone where you were coming from. Yeah, and... Nairobi. Yeah. Flew down from Nairobi. Went down to Doha, and then from Doha down to Seattle, and then from Seattle down to Honolulu. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, quite an intense flight, but it's actually quite cool being here and I like it. Um, it's yeah. my first event and uh, I think it's a very nice event. Yeah, Great for networking. So and, great. Uh, I had the yeah. opportunity to speak as well. So yeah, well. what were you yeah. speaking on? Uh, actually, digitalization in East Africa and Kenya. That was my angle. Right. And I talked about IX Africa uh, and you know yeah. how we've got, how we got, got to this place where we are right now and what yeah. are the next steps. So. It was quite interesting for people to understand more about Africa as well. Yes, I think so. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like I said, that's the next billion. So. There yeah. You yeah. We were talking about this a little bit before, weren't we? Just the the amount of just conversation and interest and um, and just the timing of it seems like the industries everyone's eyes are on Africa right now. And and so, so let's back up. And I know you mentioned you you introduced during your panel uh, people just about IX Africa. So that's if right. you wouldn't mind doing that again for our viewers sure. here. I'd yeah, it. so IX Africa started, I think the whole idea started a little bit in 2020, but we broke ground in 2021 and we're up with our first phase of four and a half megawatts. So it's a hyperscale data center, yep. uh, which is going to be 22 and a half megawatts of IT power, which is about 40 megawatts of side power. That's our first campus. Yeah. And uh, why Africa? Why Kenya? Because it's got such a big demand for internet and a growing young population, yes. uh, which is going to be using cloud application. They're adopting it quite well. And um, very, in, the other element is it's a, you know, the ecosystem is digitally enhanced, very savvy. So it's growing in great. such a big way. It's, it's, it's great. And so that kind of led to IX Africa coming in. And then with the trend with uh, Hypers now wanting to come into um, Africa, yeah. Kenya has got its benefits, which I can talk about as we go along on sustainability and all. But yeah, it's it's been a great move and uh, it's actually working out quite well. Yeah. So talk about. I mean, you you alluded to it. So let's talk about sustainability. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's such an important topic for everyone. Absolutely. Why wait, right? yeah. yeah. No. No. So it's great. Um, you know, one of the factors that kind of make Kenya stand out from the rest of Africa is the fact that it's uh, ninety percent green. The energy is ninety percent green. So it's you know, low carbon. Um, Hydroelectric, geothermal, solar, and wind make up 90% of the power produced in uh, Kenya. So it's actually very beneficial, and everybody's looking at Kenya being, you know, easily uh, um, accessible. Yeah. The fiber connectivity is fantastic. Yeah. Um, so it's just right now. The other element that's making it work is apart from the sustainability, which is what I talked about, is the fact that it's. Uh, actually very stable from a regulatory perspective and a political perspective. So it's easy to do business in. So I think more and more hypers are understanding the benefits that Kenya has. And it's got a market of about 400 million people that one can access. Right. So, yeah, yeah it's absolutely great. Yeah. And on that front, you know, just in conversations I've been hearing over the last few days, and actually a panel we had here earlier today, just talking about, too, just the, 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 growth explosion that's happening in Africa yeah. and the benefit from a sustainability perspective to be able to get in front of, you know, building things right, you know, is kind of the theme. Absolutely. And yeah. I think that was one of the factors that, you know, sustainability is key, but we also have something that we call Keep It Africa as a sustainable supply chain as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's kind of boosting the economy as well, locally sort out um, equipment, you know, uh, good backup all of that comes into play and um, that makes it more and more achievable, more and more interesting for all the hypers as well, because they want to tick that box as well. Right. And yep. it's an important factor. So, um, yeah, it's 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 actually the entry into into Africa. I mean, you know, yep. East Africa is very central. A lot of subsea cables coming around as well now. Right. Uh, yep. That's making another boost, uh, you know, pushing the growth. So all eyes are definitely on Africa, yep. more so in East Africa. 
and so that's what we're hoping for yeah right yeah and so in order to do this i think you know investments always important uh i believe you you have you have that you yes. have some new investment can you tell, tell us about that yeah yeah we were uh, we've now got helios investment partners coming in to and they, they've taken over equity private equity they've yep. pumped in 50 million dollars and that's accelerated our development of the right. campus and they're quite quite excited about it um you know and uh, now with them on board and them having understood uh guy who's our chairman's capability they've actually taken him in on board as a board of director for helios as well yeah. to guide them on data center investment so yeah ix africa definitely you know way ahead right now i reckon that the competition's probably about 18 to 24 months away from us um, to wow come that's a good yeah. head so, start so yeah we're, we're ahead of the game nice. and we have yeah. uh, our own land yeah. uh five acres you know and, and the green from also the water point right so uh, okay, yeah. achievable from a you know low pue power consumption power utilization uh also the fact that we have a very low wue because nairobi is up there yeah. six thousand feet so you don't use too much power or water to cool down it's free cooling for yeah. about six seven well, three months four months so yeah and helios is I think they're quite happy about uh, what we've done and the way the campus has been set up. And that's given them the confidence to come in very aggressively with us. Right. So, yeah. yeah, certainly a plus for us. Yeah, congratulations. We'll be excited to talk to you, you know, over the next year or so as, as all of yeah. this unfolds and continues to develop uh, mm -hmm. with IX Africa. And for those of our viewers who can't, I know you're meeting with people in person today, but not everyone was able to make the journey. A lot That's of our, right. you know, our viewers are, are watching live and, and maybe wondering how they can connect with you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the easiest way is my email is neeraj s at ixafrica.co.ke. But you can come down to Nairobi as well because it's a great city. Yeah, why not, right? <laughs> why not? So always, always, a, uh, yeah, always a plus. Yeah. Know. But yeah, and then you can visit our website, uh, www.ixafrica.co.ke. So Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Naraj, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was exciting. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. It was good to chat with you and, and hear all of all of your updates. Great. So thank you. Thanks. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV, coming to you live here from the floor of PTC 23. Happy networking.